recognized for five minutes. I thank my friend for recognizing me, and I strongly oppose this profoundly undemocratic, paternalistic resolution. The House of Representatives, in which nearly 700,000 District of Columbia residents have no voting representation, is attempting to nullify legislation enacted by DC's local legislature, whose members are elected by DC residents. By scheduling this vote, I can only conclude that the Republican leadership believes that DC residents, a majority of whom are black and brown, are either unworthy or incapable of governing themselves. The dictionary definition of democracy is, and I'm quoting, a government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and exercised by them directly or indirectly through a system of representation, usually involving periodically held free elections, end quote. DC's lack of voting representation in Congress and Congress's plenary authority over DC are the antithesis of democracy. I would re remind House Republicans that they once professed support for local control of local affairs. Their fiscal year 2016 budget said this, and again I'm quoting, America is a diverse nation. Our city, states, and local communities are best equipped and naturally inclined to develop solutions that will serve their populations. But too often, local leaders are limited by numerous federal dictates and end quote. The legislative history and merits of the legislation enacted by the District of Columbia that is a subject of this resolution are irrelevant to the consideration of this resolution. Since there is never justification for Congress nullifying legislation enacted by the district, but I would like to set the record straight. The revised criminal code comprehensively revises DC's criminal code, which has not been done since it was created in 1901. Everyone in the DC legal, legal system agrees that such a revision is long overdue. The bill is the product of over a decade of work by uh, DC to create a modern, comprehensive, sy systematic criminal code. Uh, a majority of states, uh, both red and blue, have adopted such a code. In 2016, DC, DC uh, enacted legislation establishing an independent agency, the Criminal Code Reform Commission, to recommend a new criminal code. The commission, which consisted of nonpartisan experts, drafted the revised Criminal Code Act, Act over nearly five years in a fully public process. The voting members of the commission's advisory group, including the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, unanimously approved transmitting the bill to the D.C. Council and the mayor. The D.C. Council had these three hearings, held three hearings on this bill. The council is required by Congress passed the bill on two separate occasions by votes of 12 to 0 and 13 to 0. The mayor vetoed the bill. The council overrode the bill by a vote of 12 to 1. The provisions of the bill do not take effect until October 1st, 2025 at the earliest. I say to every member of Congress, keep your hands off DC. I urge members to vote no. I yield back. Uh, the gentleman from Maryland reserves time. 